We project a laser line on the object and then we have one or two cameras scanning this and by scanning the laser line above the surface we get a profile. And then there we, we also have a, a what we call a modular compact sensor so we can actually configure the sensor exactly to the field of view our customer needs. Hello IPXers, we are again Electronica 2024. I've wandered on a booth that's claiming world's fastest 3D sensors. Andre, <laughs> tell us about world's fastest 3D sensors, but before you start telling us about what you do, you look cool, by the way. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Not as cool as me, but you do look cool. Yeah, I, I, um, I try to match. <laughs> where we'd like to start is, if this did not exist, how would a design engineer be solving the problem without you? Yeah. Talk about the environment. Well, there, there are obviously many 3D technologies in the world. So we, we have stereo vision, we have LiDAR, what you know from your iPhone. Yep, yep. And um, yeah, we, we, we have Kinect and, and things like you, you know from the game. And um, yeah, and we have laser triangulation. So, so in that general area, what are the applications that that would, in the industrial environment, yeah. where would you see that kind of technology yeah. being applied? Well, laser triangulation is uh, actually used in a broad range of, of markets and applications. So you can, the big advantage of this technology, you can scale it from a very small objects like 30, 40 millimeter PCB, like what we see here, yep, yep. up to two meters for scanning a road or a train. Right. So it's really a, a great scaling technology. Yep. It's, it's not a technology that you would choose for, for instance, looking 100 meters far away, like what you would do with a car for collision avoidance or something like that. No. There we use other technologies, TOF, time of flight sensing, this kind of technology. Right. But for, for general robot vision, for um, quality assurance, Yep. of small parts. So this, we're, we're absolutely in the sweet spot of industrial vision. Absolutely. Watching, looking at small things, watching them and then scanning them. Yeah. Well, laser, let me shortly explain what laser triangulation means. It's a very pr simple principle. So we project a laser line on the object and then we have one or two cameras scanning this and by scanning the laser line above the surface, we get a profile. And then we collect several profiles so we get a 3D image of, of the object. Yep. And our special USPs we offer to our customers is that we um, provide the 3D data with a very high resolution. So right. we have like 4,000 pixels along the laser line and we can capture it with a very high speed of, let's say, 200 kilohertz, which is really, really fast. Um, and the output of the sensor is a, a, a big 3D data set of the object, of the real world. Right. And, and then you of course need some post-processing for identifying what you actually want to measure in your data and then. Um, right. uh, so, so, so the real benefit to you is that really high intensity of what you get back? Yeah, it's a, it's a high measurement accuracy, I would high say. High measurement accuracy. High okay. measurement accuracy, high resolution right. of the object. So that's, that's the main benefit and, so, and at a very high speed. Yeah. Because it, you, you have this application, like imagine you uh, want to do a, a scanning of a road and you mount these kind of sensors on a truck, then you want to go not with 10 miles per hour, then you want to go with 100 oh, miles per hour. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that means you need speed. Right, so, so resolution equals speed it's, in it, that yeah, case. Yes, 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 exactly. Because um, right. on the one dimension, it's just the resolution and the spatial resolution and the other dimension it's speed. Yes, so there's two ways of understanding resolution then. Yeah. There's yeah. the fine detail of seeing something in a way that you wouldn't have seen it before. Right. But because it's a higher resolution, you can do stuff yeah. quicker. Right, exactly. Right. Because obviously many people would probably just understand the resolution bit. That that yeah. speed thing is actually really, really important. I would think right. that probably where you have most of your conversations, resolution. Yeah, ring, yeah, well, that's, that, that, that's already what, what we want to, yeah, 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 want yeah, to yeah, point yeah. out. It's, yes. it's speed and resolution. And then there we, we also have a, a, what we call a modular compact sensor, so we can actually configure the sensor exactly to the field of view our customer needs. So they just need to tell us, okay, I want to measure a certain area, a certain, a certain volume, and then we can exactly give them the sensor they need. Right, right. And is, uh, is, is, is what's important actually going on in there is your software that's running in here, is that? Right. This is, uh, this is one of the key technology. Yeah. So let's just we talk do. about then. Let's just talk about what differentiates your software. Because yeah. obviously people will understand this whole concept of lasers and we've talked about 3D and we talk about speed. 
obviously what's really going on here is the clever software so do you want to just elaborate on that briefly yeah yeah well the, the in order to get the high speed and the high measurement accuracy you have to have a very good processing of your laser line image what we see here on on, on the sensor chip so that means we our technology was to develop um, massive parallel processors that we run inside this this little sensor and this outputs the 3d data yeah and yeah as real world 3d data in millimeters however you want to have it yeah yeah so so so, so other people might be able to replicate the hardware maybe they can't but yeah. you could look at different kind of hardware solutions and go that looks the same but actually the two di the true differentiator is the software that's sitting it's, on top of the platform exactly it's a it's a it's a technology of implementing these kind of processes yeah. um yeah. for instance we also have designed with the same technology our own sensor chip so the this is a sensor chip that not only ha has the photodiode matrix for for taking the picture the image it also has a processing unit directly right. connecting on on the on the chip Right. So this is something so very special. So you've got special. proprietary, actually proprietary yeah, silicon yeah, doing, doing yeah. that job. Excellent. Right, Excellent. right. So, okay, so if our community have, have, have listened to this video and they go, right, that's me, I want high precision and speed because that's what we've talked about. I understand that the hardware is different. I understand the software is different. I'm working in some kind of industrial application. I can understand why that might be me. The last question we'd like to ask you is, how do they evaluate it? What's the process by which they engage with you and start having a conversation with you? Yeah. Well, our sales engineers are, are very uh, well educated and they are more like field engineers. So they, they know many applications very well. So they will ask a little bit about, okay, what's the expectation in terms of, of, of um, uh, measurement, volume, what's the size, what's the speed you need? And then they will come up with a proposal um, of a model that will fit these requirements and then the the customer gets a a unit that, that fits to their measurement requirements right, right and on top of that we have a software package that allows you to directly evaluate the 3d data so the customer can do a feasibility study and, and really checking if our package is really doing that what they want to have right, for their right. application solution Okay, very good. Well, I think that's an excellent introdu introduction to what you do. Very exciting, fast, high resolution. Exactly what you said. Yeah. Sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Yeah. sunglasses. <laughs> Always a winner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest Thank of your show. <laughs>